Hey, 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 what's up everybody? GG is here and welcome back to another episode of Lumberjack's Dynasty. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you got your snacks. Hope you got your drinks. Hope you got your butts in the most comfiest positions because uh, wifey's working late again tonight. So that means maybe G could possibly go just a little longer than normal. We'll have to see. But for now, folks, everybody that's here, thank you, thank you so very much. Mr. Bone himself, the man, the legend, the myth, the comedian among them all. Bone, he actually had his first live stream right over here on this channel. Right there. Yeah, that's right. Now he's live streamed over here for a long time, too. How's everybody doing? How you doing, Bone? I am doing really good. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I guess I should probably load the game. That would be a good thing to do. We only got two minutes left. You just get yourself home from work already, or are you uh, are you driving? You on the road? Let's see. Did I get my green screen fixed this time? Yeah, I went and reviewed my last video. Couldn't believe it. Green screen corners, ah, such an amateur, such an amateur. And I'm trying to get a professional mic? <sighs> what, what am I thinking? Whoa, that's a full Dr. Pepper. Hang it against the steering wheel here. You doing well? How are you? Wife left you? I'm home, oh nice. No, wife didn't leave me, she's going, uh, she actually left work a little bit early, go hang out with one of her friends who's moving cross country next month. And... Uh, afterwards, she's going to go visit uh, Auntie Panda. So it's a fend for myself all evening, afternoon, morning, night, you know, that type deal. So, woohoo! Alright, so I kind of sort of got this new thing figured out here. It's, it's just not as good. It doesn't, like, I have to click on tabs to get all the information, whereas the old way was just all poof. Right there. Stream health, how many were talking, how many messages per minute. Everything was so perfect. And then YouTube's got to do this crap. Oh, it's very sad. Now, somebody was telling me that there's a widget that I could open or something like that too. Ah, we'll find about it. But for now, folks, just a couple more seconds and we're getting ourselves into the Lumberjacks Dynasty. And uh, I put in some work. I put in a little bit of work. Doing my best, trying to put out the uh, Mr. Prepper, as well as the, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay, I did not say you could play that tune. Why do you always go to that tune on random? Random is not so random. There we go. Okay. Let's get ourselves over to the game. No starting countdown screen today. We're just going to jump right into it. Uh, loading the game. All right. As you can see, we got uh, $24,000 from the last uh, time we were back. It was $1,200. Kevin, hey yo, how you doing, my man? I am doing well, very well indeed. I'm going to have a longer stream, I'm hoping. Who cares about how long it's going to take YouTube to process and up or upload and process it? But eh, who cares? Who cares? Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm taking a sleep. That's all I got to do. I got to take a nap. Sometime today, please. It was like 3:20 in the morning in game or something like. Uh oh. Why is it some days I cannot jump over this damned railing? Doesn't matter if you have food or not. Just some days it's just not going to happen. Spider at Tater, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm just, I'm just never going to make it. No, oh, oh, ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah. We need a ladder. Sasha, get me a ladder while you're getting a handbrake for the tractors. Get me a freaking ladder. Oh, Christ's sakes. Walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I was trying to hurdle it, but it was just a hurdle too big for the G, I guess, today. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm streaming, because normally when I'm not streaming, it uh, I can just bounce over that. But I do notice that I drop about, on average, normally I sit around 59 frames per second. Um, but when I'm streaming, I do notice that I drop down to about 34, 36. But oh well, who knows? I mean, even that shouldn't be that bad. Let's see, very wet, very wet, very wet. All right. How are we doing? Very wet, very wet. And honey, we'll take the honey. So, yeah, yeah, uh, let's here, let's go to the map. I'll show you guys what I did. Uh, so yeah, last time we left off, I had just purchased these two plots of land and these two. Well, they're all cleared out now. They're empty, they're bare, they're empty. Um, the fruits of my labor, the last of it's just in the water. We'll see that here in just a second. Let's get our morning chores done. Oh, so what's everybody's plans now that the summer is upon you and the heat is there? Anybody going to go uh, out on the lake? Anybody going to go do some boating or some beach time? Oh, great. Just turn the water on just in time for it to rain. Good, good, great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks, rain. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if rain changes the, uh, the ground. It didn't in Farmer's Dynasty. I wonder if it would here. That'd be kind of nice if it did. Auto water. But what have you guys been up to lately? Um, me, I was just doing those videos forever. I feel like I'm so totally out of the loop. I have not even visited the Toplets Discord in two days. That is like unbelievable for me. But uh, just getting caught up on the stuff that got put off to the side. So getting caught up on life again. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is the last of the logs that I had. So, almost all finished. Uh, I went up to 141 of these chipboard crates. So, I sold off, I think, down to like 100, something like that. And, yeah. And what else happened here? Oh, let's go see how many planks we got going on. Yeah, you would think that the rain would auto water. You would definitely think so. 582 planks waiting to be dried. Over here in the dryer, we have 32 planks that are dried. Coming on around, over around the corner here, you can see that the tractor's light's flashing and it's doing the dancing, it wants to get going. It's got uh, another 11,000 in the trailer and there's an additional uh, 5,000 stored up. So we'll probably have about 50, just under 50, there's around six grand, I guess. We, by the time it's done emptying. Zona, how are you doing, my man? How are you doing? Glad to hear you got your interwebs working again. Uh, it's nothing more frustrating and disheartening when you're first starting out and having those types of issues, dude. But don't give up on it. Just roll with the punches, my man. Just roll with the punches. Yeah, too bad we can't build extra dryers and things like that. But at the same time, guys, if you read the start screens or the loading screens, you'll see things that say... Dry planks can only be used for rebuilding. So that's like, eh? So wait a minute, maybe my rumor can get a little bit of substantialness behind it now all of a sudden. So my rumor mill basically was back when I was like, going, hey guys, I'm not gonna use wet planks just in case it causes an issue later. I could see the wet planks being used for the greenhouse and dry planks being painted on for the real houses. And then it just apparently took off like it was gospel, firestormed it, so, meh. Whatevers. Oh no, Zona, yeah, it does, it makes, it, it makes me at least, it, uh, I think about it when I'm laying in bed trying to get to sleep and it's like, alright G, what'd you do now? Mind you, I have a coffee, oh crap, it's in the dishwasher, I have a coffee cup that says, uh, what'd you do now? Or what I do now, sorry. <laughs> and I swear to God, that's like my mentality when I'm laying in bed at night, it's like I go through my streams, I do my review and everything else going... Dude, you had like over 20 seconds of dead air. Were you a zombie? What was going on with you, man? And I'll think about stuff. Or when I miss chat, that drives me crazy. The last chat, or last um, uh, the live stream that we did, the with all the schmozzle being forced to use YouTube's new uh, integrated streaming platform crap, I forgot to take it off top chat, and it was on live, er, and uh, so instead, sorry. I forgot to put it on live chat. It was stuck on top chat. So I didn't get to see half the damn messages. That drives me crazy. 
you guys take the time out of your day to come visit me, the least I can do is to converse back with you with the effort that you put into it. But yeah, dude, don't get disheartened over when, you know, don't sweat the things you can't control. I mean, your internet was out, it was just a bad crappy day, so don't, don't worry about it. Mrs. B, welcome, welcome, welcome. You got yourself a day off for all the hassle and schmazzle going on in the house right now with all the plumbers, or do you have to work tonight? I hope you're not on graveyards. I would, uh, I would, deepest sympathies if you are, deepest sympathies. Let's see here, we want to raise the trailer with number 12. Ah, I'm using the controller, or the, uh, de -de 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 the wheel, folks. Mrs. B says, I didn't see you go live. I really didn't give that much notice. My apologies. Um, I was going to go out there and do the garden, but it's like freaking 31 degrees Celsius out there right now. Can't do it. This redhead would melt like an ice cream in the microwave. So, oh, you're off tonight. Oh, thank goodness, Mrs. B. Um, so, yeah, the notification was uh, less than an hour, and I'm noticing that with this new integrated service they have, that sometimes it's... Uh... Hold on. Okay, hold on. I left my trailer behind. All because I was trying to switch it to CVT2. Okay. I've played way too many games with the wheels lately, so I can't remember which one does what anymore. Alright, hold on. So. Uh, uh, 10. No, no, 10. There, that's number 10. I'm in. 12 is raise the trailer. Ah, oh. Go figure, reverse is to put it into CVD2. Okay. There we go. Uh, wow! Just drove into the building. Uh, Zona says, beginner mistakes. Almost done with the bottom half of that map. Cleaning up the herbs and the mushrooms. The information I'm gathering will, for it will be valuable. Yeah. I'm trying to do my best to find anybody who's got like a actual true 4k system and is playing the game in 4k and see if I can get them to take several pictures of the map and then I could put that together into Photoshop and just kind of line them all up so we could get one nice big high resolution map that we can then do real good zoom ins on and you can place little markers and later on when we get chests you know like make an interactive map like things like you see for like red dead redemption and stuff right that that's to me that would be the uh, uh okay i guess got to find out which one is cruise ah okay cruise controls that one been a while been a while lights was nine <laughs> Eighty-two confirmed spawn locations. Wow, that's crazy. Now, are you sensing a pattern out of all this? Are you noticing that where there's more animals, there's more herbs or more mushrooms? Or are we looking at a really completely random type deal going on for how many herbs to mushroom ratio again? Good. I like my berries. I like my strawberries and I want blueberries in game. I can't wait. Can't wait until we can get those special unique recipes. I'm just hoping that those unique recipes, when the game is all packaged up, ready to go full release, that those come in earlier in the game, because I find that right now, having to jump up to Chapter 3 for everything that's involved going up to Chapter 3, it seems like it's a pretty big jump. Um, I'd like to see maybe us being able to have the ability to do those uh, that unique cooking and make stuff faster earlier in-game. Um, that type of deal. Yeah, just completely random. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I mean, no offense, it is an easy way to program it that way. I mean, it is lazy programming, but at the same time, it's tested and true programming. So, I will let them get away with it. Most definitely. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, no, I got, uh, my garden is like, eh, I'd say 70, oops. 75% weeded. <laughs> I have one strip that's right along the fence and I couldn't do it. I have a metal fence and that thing was just so bloody hot by like 10 o'clock this morning. It was like, uh-uh, can't do it. So, 
instead of going out to uh, Home Depot and everything else today, I'll go out tomorrow. And uh, hopefully in the cool of the evening tomorrow, we're supposed to get a bit of cooler temperature. I will be able to then, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, pick up some seeds for, uh, I want to grab some more carrots. We've got just enough time that I can probably get some uh, baby carrots and uh, some romaine. Some of the leafy greens might be able to get some more of those before the end of season's done. Okay, so we have done that. We've gotten rid of the wood chips. Let's get rid of the dry pallets next. Woohoo! Making money, making money. And what's that about the special herb zone? What you saying? Uh huh. Eh? Uh, hold on. There was no update, so there's no reason why I can't grab this. Alright, so this happens, folks. Just save your game. Then reload it. Don't forget the clones. Yeah. <laughs> Say right now I can't grab those pallets. I'm just going to reload the game. Oh, as the special herbs which were there on the previous cycle were not there anymore. Gotcha. Okay, no, that makes sense to be completely random then. Yep. Dr. Pepper, not a sponsor, but should be. This is my last one left in the house. I'm getting scared. I'm going to start getting the shakes just thinking about it. <laughs> Did it work? It worked, see? Yeah, I guess Karain was right. I do throw tips and tricks throughout my videos. Right. Ugh, I'm just not a tips and tricks channel. I just, I can't, I can't take the time to do so much editing when I'm such a small channel. I mean, you know, if I had a free editor or something like that, you know, fine, yeah. I'd love to put out all that type of tips and tricks and stuff. Um, I just, I don't have the time to be able to do that type of editing. I wish I could. I wish I could do a lot more than what I'm doing right now, but we'll see how the routine goes once my kid lets in school. I'm actually thinking about uh, picking up uh, a cheap electric scooter type deal. Um, that way my kid can use a push scooter to go to school and then I'll just ride the electric scooter there with him, grab his scooter and helmet and bring him back home with me and then take him back to his school again and pick him up after school. I try to, Bowen. I do try to throw in a bunch of tips and tricks all the time. But not with... How to explain this? Like, not overdoing it, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a blatant tip number 10. You know, like, tip number 9. Yeah, number one tip. Save early, save often, save in a rotation. <laughs> if something's wrong, blame Bob. Yeah, we have, uh... Oh, gee, from my Twitch days back, like, four or five years ago there, I have a mist. Mysterio. He was the gentleman that came over to my house and had donairs and everything else there when I was doing the cooking streams on Mixer. Um, uh, sorry guys, I got an eyelash that stabbed me right in the eyeball. It's not nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, Mysterio. And we used to always uh, say blame Mist. Actually, I think I even have a highlight clip still on my Twitch channel of him scaring the crap out of me with a scare donation back in the day. Oh, Okay, so when uh, those donations just first came out, their volumes we are like ten times louder than what they are allowed to be today. They, they were interesting. They were scary. They made my skin crawl. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many spawn points there really are on the map, Gargoyle? No, I don't. Um, I haven't been running around that much. I could have taken some notes when I was doing the searching for Rabid Rock way back in the very beginning of the release of it. Um, however, I didn't. I didn't take any notes. I should have. Um, I'm actually trying to take this game, guys, a little bit easier um, with all the bug reporting and everything else that everyone else is doing. It's kind of actually affording me a little bit more time for well, life in general. Um, especially I noticed that this week uh, with JD and Panzer really stepping up huge in the volunteer work over there um, it made my life a lot easier I didn't have to worry about anything I know with that you know questions would be answered and that's so I appreciate their help thank you very much over there guys it's a volunteer position but it still stresses me out when I try to do as much as I can and there's not enough hours in the day 
Uh, Bone says they are never really intentionally done, just uh, as you are doing something and you share your knowledge. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it's like it's hard for me to like I could easily play hours and hours and hours of a day and then just speak whenever something comes to me, send it all out, get an editor to put it all together, type deal, take clips of it, make those types of videos for tip number one, two, three, four, stuff like that. Um, the devs would know, map creators, possibly not, because um, they, them, they're just putting maps, they're not putting in zones, that's what the programmers are doing. Um, so the developers would know, but we've never talked to, well, we've talked to one developer once. <laughs> uh, close, and that was at Christmas time, that's it. We've only talked to one developer one, er, once. Everybody, quit saying you want to talk to the developers when you're trying to say you want to talk to the publishers. <laughs> Sorry. Pet peeve of mine. Just, uh, no, you guys, you don't get it. In the industry, the less you bug your devs, the better. I would not I would prefer that I didn't even know Close's name. That would mean that, you know, they're doing the best they can. Jeremy, how goes it, my man? Enjoying the blistering hot weather. <sighs> it is nasty out there. But I have air conditioning in the house, so I'm surviving. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm pampered. I'm happy. <laughs> but yeah, no, guys. Honestly, um, yeah, no. Don't ask to bug the devs. Let them do the job. We want them working. Well, who you want to bug is the publishers. They're the ones that can put together the emails to get you the answers later from the devs. They just gotta know which questions that you guys wanna know. Now let's just hope that they can get themselves into, that the publishers can get themselves into a better financial situation so they can uh, hire more people on for public representation. Like, you know, who knows, maybe a good ginger on their team would be a great idea. You know, somebody with long hair, knows how to sport some glasses and a backwards hat. G for public rep 2022. <laughs> Most dev squats when they pee. Well, no, not really. Um, there's both a combination of men and women, but yeah, no. In in, in the overall industry, folks, now you know you guys don't bug developers. You bug the people who are paying for the game, the publishers. Uh, Bone says I'm currently playing game, watching your stream as well. I need to stay away from the mill because of the frame rates. I need to let all those logs go through. Yep, that's exactly what I did before uh, on stream. I got up this morning. I had at least 100, 150 logs probably piled up. I had five loads and I uh, decided to go and take a look and see where I was at for the amount of pallets. And of course, it was a slideshow frame per minute type deal. So I go in there and I look and it's 141 pallets. I'm like, no, I don't want to lose any OSB. So I went and grabbed the uh, as many OSBs as I could. It took me like an hour and a half to do like three three loads to get to where I'm at now. It's crazy, crazy. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm just curious as how close to 100% correct I am. Uh, just verify my research on the subject. Totally get it. I know exactly what you're saying. Your OCD is getting to you. And you want to know if you did a good job. I'm the same damn way. <laughs> I want to know. Did I do it good? Did I do it right? Did I get 100% teach? Did I do it? Did I do it? Because you know those who can't do, teach. <laughs> so I teach a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm having a good day today, my... Muscle pains are very, very loose, or very low, I should say. Uh, my muscles feel loose. It's kind of nice. And where's my title? King of the Shrooms. <laughs> He's a fun guy, the King of Fungi. I like me having the wheel. I can actually smoke my vape. Yes, this is my CBD Rich. This is my nicotine rich. Mm. Actually, this is a very little THC. It's 4% uh, THC and 40, well, sorry, 4 
micrograms of THC and uh, 40, 40 micromilligrams, can't remember what it is, of uh, CBD. It's really heavy, heavy CBD, but I've gotten over the THC aspect of it. I mean, it was great and everything else seven years ago when I first got my, uh, my Canada card. Um, but I, I got over it rather fast and when I found that, you know, all I had to do is just a very little bit of tiny bit of THC to, and a real heavy dose of CBD, because a real heavy dose of CBD on its own don't do it. You got to have a little bit of THC, at least that is my experience. And I just, I finally was able to hone it down to, oh, I don't need that much THC. So I would rather get twice the amount of CBD oil that has very little THC than to pay twice the amount for um, a little bit less of overall product, but almost twice the price because it's got, you know, higher amounts of CBDs in it. I'm just I'm not into that. I don't know why it wasn't picking up over there. There we go. Nice. No, I, I don't pay that much with my medical. <laughs> uh, and it's nice now, actually, now that I can get these vape pens, I don't have to turn mine into... I haven't cooked uh, my cannabis in a very, very long time now. At least, oh geez, a year and a half? I mean, I was doing classes where I was teaching people how to cook it. Um, but yeah, since I found these vape pens, this, for me, this has been the optimal way to dose. I can just micro dose throughout the day. Anytime it really starts to hurt, I can just do seven or eight real good power puffs. And within 20 to 30 minutes, I'm back at a baseline of like, okay, I can function again. You know, my quality of life levels there so I can keep on moving. Oh, gotcha, Carlos, on the reserve. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You know, I, I only go through and always have gone through legal channels. It just it makes more sense. I do have some really high-powered THC stuff that I use for at nighttime to um, shut my brain down and go to sleep. But even still, sometimes, like I say, I'll be just sitting there thinking at night going, Oh, gee, how did I miss chat? But, yeah, no, I'm... I'm I could care less for recreationally. I mean, I don't drink either. Um, actually, Bone, can you believe it, dude? My wife bought me a six-pack of Stella Artois, not this weekend, but the weekend before, and I had one bottle a day. <laughs> I forgot to mention that, yeah. But before that, guys, it's been like seven years for a drink. It's not because of alcoholism or anything like that. It's just I'm not into it, not into you know losing that control with my body or anything. So... Yeah, so I actually drank six Stella Artois. Uh, it's been, yeah, years, years, and years. Yeah, my wife goes to me, she goes, I'm buying a case of beer. I'm like, holy crap. We haven't had beer in the house in years. And she's like, exactly, I'm buying a case of beer. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, dear. I won't stop you. She goes, what do you want? I'm like, uh, I'm good. She goes, no, come on. You got to have at least, if I'm drinking beer, you got to have at least one beer with me once. I'm like, all right, give me a Stella. She goes, just the six pack? Of course, just the six pack. Yeah, Bone, I'm such an alcoholic, man. I get that booze and I just drink right through it within, you know, six beers in seven days. Because I finished my, my wife got it for me on the Saturday and then I finished my last beer this Sunday. So, basically, anytime I had a barbecue meal and the nachos, <laughs> I had a beer. But yeah, no, uh, we had barbecue chicken, I had a beer for that, barbecue steak, beer for that. Sausages, beer for that. Uh, what else did we do last week? Um, oh yeah, when we had uh, Auntie Panda over and we did uh, hot dogs and burgers. So there was beer then. And then yeah, the nachos, the two nights of nachos. So that's all the beers. <laughs> Six foot tall and bulletproof, gotcha. Uh, depends. If I drink tequila, yeah, I can become a little bit of a dick. Um, but if I'm drinking beer, no, I just, I get smart ass. That's all. I can get more annoying than anything. Um, but my wife says, you know, some things that you say are pretty good one-liners. You know, you should make a t-shirt out of that one. Like, what the hell did I say? <laughs> oh my god, it's been years since I was hammered, though. 
All right, let's grab the last of these uh, pallets, or we're gonna have one more. Or we're gonna have another trip after this. But that's what this episode's about. We need to make a ton of money. All right, folks. Overall, which land has got the most amount of trees on it? And that's near a ramp. <laughs> Yeah, I do become a bit of a smart ass. I'm a smart ass all the time, really. Um, but yeah, it can can get to an annoyance proportion when I'm drinking. So, I, I don't not to drink. Um, you know, actually, you know, if I had the choice for recreationally, someone's like, you're either going to drink or you're going to get really high. Uh, I would think I would go getting really high. Um, quite honestly, the repercussions of the pains that alcohol does for the hangover not so good for the G not good at all hey um how's the music volume compared to my volume compared to the game volumes here folks uh, I've noticed that my microphone lately has been doing some weird goofy things uh, sometimes it sounds like I'm I'm in a tin can and other times it sounds like I got a megaphone to my voice my face where it's like Whoa, okay. I got the four plants first time growing, and they're pretty big so far. Nice. Uh, I live too close to a school. Otherwise, I would have been given my my ticket to grow, and it's, it's ridiculous, like 200 plus plants. I like tequila too, but for some reason, no, I don't like my attitude when I'm drinking tequila. No, no, don't like my attitude at all. I don't put up with anybody's shit when I'm drinking tequila. Hmm. Get a little confrontational. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Really? I thought it was six, but eh, I could care less. Um, for me, uh, being medical for as long as I have, uh, in order to what they say is prevent hardship from finances meaning going out and buying as much as you do uh, you're pretty much automatically covered for the amount that you like for a license to grow um, if you're over X amount like so if you need less than a hundred plants in order for your your monthly medication prescription then they you know they gotta really take a look at you to see if you qualify for it but the moment you start going over a hundred dollars um, no, sorry, 100 plants per month in order to, you know, use it as medicine. Then they start going, okay, yeah, this person's going to have real hard, hard uh, financial hardships unless they can grow their own. So that's where that goes. <laughs> I can't touch tequila, get a mental breakdown. Oh, I can do it shot for shot. I mean, I like people are like, oh my god, it's like mouthwash. I'm like, it's delicious mouthwash. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, I just don't like the person I become on it. Oh yeah, it's like all plants there, Carlos. I mean, it's not that you can just, you know, stick a seed in the ground and hope that weather, you know, does the rest. Uh, need some TLC. Deuce! How's it going, my man? I like myself drinking tequila. It's everyone else that has that problem. <laughs> Very true, Deuce. If you don't like what I'm drinking, then get out of my house. <laughs> but, oh, let's see, what am I going to cook for tonight? Uh, it's a, a fend for yourself night, G. The wifey's out. So. Do we get another issue here? Do we have another? Oh. Again. I really would like to know what's causing that issue with this. It just popped up after this update. Now, I don't even know if that's been uh, reported or not. But yeah, the only, way, the only way you can get it back is just save and load game. Bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, Zona says, I can take anything else but tequila and Sambuca. I love a good flaming Sambuca. There's just something about that just gently warmed black licorice taste just ah uh, yummy oh man you're going back to my early 20 years thinking about stuff like that you ever had a brain hemorrhage not literally like a pop in the head but the drink a brain hemorrhage 
Does anybody even know what a brain hemorrhage is? Uh, the drink? Doing some fun around on the FSN. Nice, nice. That's pretty much what I do. I, you know, if I can, I fart around on the Lumberjacks Dynasty. Well, since it's raining out, G's not going to even bother trying to put um, planks in there. Wait a minute, no, they got rid of the tread marks in that, didn't they? Did they or didn't they? For the forklift, I can't remember if forklift uh, in the mud makes a big difference or not, because we already know what happens if you try driving the old tractor through the freaking fields when it's muddy out. You're just asking for a headache. straight to the head had to leave a party after 30 minutes due to Sambuca ooh um actually my brother uh, he says sometimes like it doesn't matter what type of alcohol just that just you know one night he can drink like 12 beer and be just fine and then another night he has three beers and he's like ready to hit the floor so don't know might be that if it was just a one time experience with that happening with Sambuca but uh I do enjoy my Sambuca. It, that 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 flaming Sambuca, you know, one, two, three, four, floor. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> where I'd be at. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, how, I can't remember what the comedian how he put it, but the, he's like, "There's two things in life that you always got to remember: never waste a heart on, and never trust a fart." <laughs> Those were the flaming ones. Don't play with fire. <laughs> okay, the rules are: is no flame after the fourth drink, because you should not be that inebriated by the time you've had your fourth flaming mo, that you're not going to light your house on fire by accidentally tipping over, you know, a flaming shot. I mean, come on, you are a chef, and we do, you know, brandy, flambe. Come on now, you gotta know how to play a fire. You gotta be able to know how to drink, you know. Swig for the customer, swig for you. <laughs> no, not yet, Mrs. B. No, no, no. When that happens, you'll try to get the spokesperson for Depends. See if you can plug that spot. <laughs> Flambe, that's safe fire. No, <laughs> no, no, it's not. You've seen some of the way these people experiment with it. It's not safe. No. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh, I love having the wheel set up. Mm, it's nice to have my desk back to its gaming situation instead of an editing situation. I had papers, I had hard drives, these portable hard drives. I had them like everywhere. I think I only got one left now. This one right here. Yeah, got one left at the moment. But there was like six of them laying around because there was like six different groups that were doing recording and just, ah, uh, it was crazy. So glad it's over and done with, but woo, my invoice is sent, so at the end of the month or somewhere around here, but by the end of the week, I'm hoping I will get paid. And then I can go ahead and start ordering that stuff. So Zeus, or Zeus, Jesus, oh, Apollo, and Zeus. <laughs> Question for you. Uh, you were saying that Yamaha UH10, there's one at Walmart.ca uh, that says it's got a USB SPX and it says it's the same board as this 10X or something, 10H or something that's there, 10UH. It says it's the exact same board, has more stuff, but it's cheaper, so. Huh? I was wondering if uh, after uh, stream here I could bend your ear on that. So I'd like to get one that works the first time. I don't want to have to do the uh, tried and true return policy. Alright. You changed, thank you.
Well, okay, well, here's the thing. It's it's not that it's a different name. It's just... It says it's the exact same machine. However, it's got this SPX add-on to it. And instead of having sliders, it's got knobs. So, I just don't know if it's going to do the exact same thing that we were talking about last time we were yakking. Alright, there we go. G got it, eventually. He knows how not to drive. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, so, I want to make sure that it works. Yeah, <laughs> if it's not broke, just give me a minute. I carry a bigger hammer. <laughs> Oh boy, Mrs. B, how bad, how bad. The kids' college funds just take a hit. Those plumbers, you know, how dare they? They haven't received a raise since the 80s, but yet, at the same time, they still have to do the shittiest work out there. <laughs> Quite literally. Call it Hamaya? Hama. Oh, gotcha. Now I gotcha. Now I gotcha. Oh my god. Where was the leak? Underneath 15 inches of concrete? I mean, come on. I know bankrupt. I know people who would be able to do it for a lot cheaper than that. <laughs> Jeez, that's just highway robbery. Because, I mean, that's like 800 bucks Canadian damn near. That That is ridiculous. The fix... Uh, okay, it depends on the type of leak. I mean, I don't know the full situation, but... I mean, unclogging a drain? I get this, uh... I think it's like a $4.50 uh, plastic zip... Like, giant long zip tie from Amazon. And it's... Uh, I can't remember what they call it. A drain snake or something weird. Anyway, a hair snake. And you just stuff it down into the drain. And when you pull it up, you just get this massive hair wad out. And you, I got long hair. It's my hair. I know it's my hair. <laughs> Causing the clogs. So I take care of it. Deuce is like, we haven't gotten our bill yet, but I have a feeling it's going to hurt. Yeah, dude, it will. Yeah, it will. Yeah, you had a lot of work done there. That, for the amount of times that you said that guy was there. Ouch, billable hours are going to be up there, man. Mm. I really do hope that you know, we can figure out something with this double plus bad cold to you know, get you back out and doing what you do in the theater or in the uh, stadiums, man. Really? 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 No. I don't know who's calling me on this one. What the hell am I stuck on? Oh. <laughs> There's a pole. Feeling Polish. No, I'm not going to answer. I want you to piss off. There you go. 1-800 number. Don't know what's going on with those. I've been getting like six or seven of them. SPX is digital effects, right? I don't know. That's the thing. It says it's got a USB audio interface. SPX, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, Walmart, you're as clear as mud. Like, my God. It's like trying to look through a binoculars with the lens cap on. It's so clear. Oh, it was the open ceiling in the basement that we already had open because of the basement fix. Oh, did they have to do work on copper pipes or were they doing it on PEX? Because, I mean, PEX is, is pretty quick and easy. Just use those alligator um, uh, good, uh, fasteners and they're quick. Oh, copper. Yeah. Uh, you know, I love copper, but at the same time, I don't. It's great for, you know, not losing as much heat dissipation and that. But some of these new insulated PEX ones that they have out there, yeah, they're about twice the price of copper, but they're going to last you five times as long. So, it's something to think about. Uh, but mind you, I'm the type of guy who just says, ah, fuck, and just, I'll do the whole bottom floor all at once. I just rip everything out and just do it all in with pecs myself. But then again, like my wife says, you know, there really isn't too many projects that, you know, I won't take on. She 
likes it, but at the same time, she doesn't like it because she, like she said, she goes, well, if we were to hire a professional contractor, he'd come in here and it would take him approximately four days. Took you a full week. So those extra three days and for the amount of money we spent, I guess it's worth it. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> That's going to last longer. I actually use like, okay, for the amount of times that I had to use silicone tubes, I mean, I might as well do one hell of a good job because I'm not going to need, the silicone's going to go hard again before I need it, right? So, I mean, I slather it up there. They're waterproof. Doesn't look ugly. But yeah, overall for plumbing though, uh, I'm, when PEX first came out, late 90s, or sorry, late 80s, early 90s, I wasn't really sold on it. Um, but now some of the uh, insulated, rubber coated PEX that they have out there, it'll last like a good 50 plus years. It can take the constant water hammering in that. So to me, in my world, it is an absolute no brainer. I would go with the insulated PEX any day. Cast iron back in the old days of sewage. Ugh. No thanks. No thanks. I mean, they've even got now that uh, the, the natural gas now is being used with a uh, fiber reinforced PEX. Just because they found that it can last for so long in that. Um, especially when they put uh, that UV coating on top of it. So it keeps the plastic from deteriorating at all. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, speaking of cast iron, yeah, I got a beautiful cast iron set for my birthday. Love it. I've used every single pan at least three times now since then. <laughs> I like, but the only problem, I haven't tried cooking my bacon yet. Now I'm really picky about bacon. Like my wife says. You can't, but you can't get bacon like this at a restaurant. I mean, it is. You pick it up, it holds its flat shape, and yet when you bite into it, it is juicy. It is tender. It's just a little bit softer than jerky, but it's freaking delicious. <laughs> I don't like undercooked floppy bacon, and I don't like hard crunch in your mouth, split your gums apart overcooked fried bacon no 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 I like it just right <laughs> we could go on a whole Goldilocks and the three bears just on bacon with me and now I'm drooling because I want bacon damn it might have to go pull some bacon out of the oven for me tonight or the freezer well at least we can finish the basement back the way it was now it's been super stressful around here yeah especially with kids taking up all their uh, their, their space to give you your quiet space. They're all in your quiet space right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's all uphill from now on because the brakes are running thin. <laughs> That's right, Zona. It has to be cooked perfectly. I mean, I want to get a bacon press uh, for putting it pro on, uh, on the cast iron. I want to learn how to do that pretty good. I cook bacon with a little tiny crisp, but soft on the inside. Yeah, it's kind of like that. That's you know, it's the best way to best way to say it. You know, like there's really there's no crispiness. It's almost like you dehydrated it. You cooked it, but you dehydrate it. You know, you bite into it. There's enough grease and oil still left in the meat that it actually breaks down. It's not like you crunch, 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 and you're using. You know, it's like that Hormel shake a bottle bacon bit crap. The genuine imitation of the artificial flavoring. Bacon bits, no thanks. Pork rind puff fat, no. No thanks. Not the fan, not the fan. Oh, so we're getting closer. I mean, we're what, one fifth of the way to, uh, oh. Getting to Uncle's place? Or owning Uncle's place? Making him an offer he can't refuse. Where did I put my mouse? But then we still have a long ways to go, guys, because, I mean, in just less than three weeks, we will be having Ponzi equipment on our laps. Bone, deuce, any of you creators are out there right now, start working. 
put in an hour daily. I would not be surprised if some of these machines are valued at over six to seven hundred thousand dollars. I wouldn't be surprised if they were real life prices, over a million. So, just saying, be prepared. Um, with that Ponzi equipment and everything else coming through, sell all your OBS platform, all your pallets, everything. Sell, sell, sell now because when you have those equipment, you're going to be stacking these things up like they're candy. So yeah. <laughs> That's right, Zona. It's a burnt offering if they do that that far. Like, I die a little bit inside if I have to serve something like that. No. No. But mind you, I'm not a big fan of McDonald's, but I do like their, uh, uh, what do they call it? Well done nuggets. Um, I went and ordered nuggets once from them. I went to bite into it, and the center was freaking cold. So I told the manager, and he was like, Oh my god, I'm extremely sorry. Turned out in the end, it, would turn, it was a faulty machine. The fryer was saying that it was at whatever at oil temperature it was supposed to be at, but it wasn't. Like, like the guy said, like, you know, be surprised it wasn't congealing into fat. So. They said sorry, and they cooked me another batch, but the lady wasn't paying any attention and put it in twice. And so when I'd gotten it, it now it was super crunchy. I was like, you know, I'm gonna go up there and just say, wait a minute, thanks. I found something that actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, I don't mind getting nuggets from them once in you know once every two or three years that are uh, what do they call extra well cooked or extra well done something like that. Haven't eaten McDonald's since after watching the movie Super Size Me. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's not like it was an actual true documentary. I mean, it's not like he was seeing several different doctors or it was an actual case study. I mean, isn't that the same guy that, that did Super High Me too or something? I don't know. Could have been. Might not have been. Um, but I'm just saying that it didn't seem like it really had all that much medical integrity behind the video, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, Angela, how are you doing today, Miss Kit, Miss Cat? Um, I, just a second here, I'll go take a look at my phone and I'll tell you the name, ow, of that ice cream maker I was talking about. Ow, I just slammed my finger into my computer, ow. I know, guys, don't drink and shop, but hey, it's that type of society we're getting to. do 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 just remember, check your mirrors every eight seconds, folks. Nice, nice, Angela. If you hadn't noticed, I got a couple of the uh, videos up now. Oh, and I told Wendy I would have it up for 12.30 her time the other day, and then YouTube screwed me over on that. But I can guarantee you that t today's video was on time, and tomorrow's video will be on time, because as soon as I'm done streaming... Oh, hold on. Somebody's at my door. Sorry about that. Wifey got a package. It happens quite a bit here. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, okay, I was bringing up Amazon. All right, so I gotta go to shopping carts? Where do I find this stuff? I wanna find my wish list. I want an app. Your wish list. GG's wishlist, please. Oh my god, my internet is so horrible. On my phone. My Wi-Fi just sucks here. Mm -hmm -hmm. There it is. It's a Breville B-R-E-B-C-I 600XL Smart Scoop Ice Cream Maker. 500 Canadian. Well, 535 Canadian. But, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> That's a restaurant quality ice cream maker right there. How do I know? Because they use one over at the, the Froze Yogurt thing or whatever. I don't know those frozen yogurt companies. T 
tis the one they do. And that's where my wife gets her uh, her mango uh, yogurt fruits. Oh no, no, you're worth it, Angela. You're worth it. We're just chilling and hanging back. There's no major milestones that we're trying to do or anything else today. I mean, I'm picking up pallets. I'm just driving. I mean, really, we're not... I mean, we're more courier service. This is like trucks and logistics simulator today more than anything. <laughs> just got to take some time to relax, chill. I want to build up some monies, and then I want to go out and buy some more lands, because I know I'm probably going to need at least four more decent sized lands in order to have enough saved up to take care of purchasing the uh, the mill here from uncle and auntie so and that's where I'm at here with you guys today is I want to go ahead and by the time we're done selling a bunch of this I want to go buy those four pieces of land and that'll give me something to do over the next two days because my next live stream should be on Thursday I'm trying to keep to my my schedule as best as I can um, and like I said tomorrow I really want to go plant my garden so tomorrow would just be a I can guarantee you right now you will have a mr. prepper video tomorrow at 10 a.m. my time so that's 9 a.m. Pacific Standard 12 noon New York and uh, and just for you Wendy 1230 <laughs> Uh, look at the land across the water from the agro store all near drop points. That's what I'm clearing now. Nice I'm trying to find something that's like really dense in trees Like I mean, you know more trees the better. Yeah, but it's one of those things where I'm almost tempted to go through um, Just start a new game, but not start a new game But just go into a new game and go around to every field do a quick vision check and see you know Okay, this one has 800 trees on it for $65,000. This one has 15 trees for $3. Uh, believe it or not, the 15 trees for $3 is a better deal. You know, like that type of stuff. Nice. 60 plus trees. Sweet. Uh, when is Mr. Prepper coming out? I've had a video come out yesterday at 2.30 uh, p.m. my time. 2 p. Or did it, did it, 10 a.m. my time today. And I'm god dang, I'm going to just do everything I can to make sure that I can get that another video up for you tomorrow at 10 a.m. too. So yeah, that'll be uh, 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 noon Eastern. Look guys, time for this sponsor. Wait a minute, not a sponsor, but should be Dr. Pepper. Need drink. Wow, yummy. Yeah, no, I was like, you know, I got to sell all this stuff here today and everything else what am I gonna do for stream quality ah screw it just sit back and chat with everybody did I say that I not that's not dr. pepper who knows who knows mr. prepper dr. prepper <laughs> I'm gonna get him so mixed up here over the while hey mr. prepper the dr. pepper is in huh no no mr. prepper your dr. pepper is in not mr. pepper your dr. Pe prepper is in yeah <laughs> I can't speak anymore. This one near the hardware store has 165 trees for 22k. By the hardware store, yeah, uh, hardware or home improvement store. Is that what you're saying? The home improvement store. Let's see, what do we got now for cash? We got. Oops. Oh, I almost got 50. Okay. Home improvement? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go check it out. So, home improvement was straight through. So, what we'll do is we'll go drop this one off by the pallet store. Yeah, 165 trees on an average, three per. That would give us a 500 trees. Divide that by two. That's another 250 pallets. Yep, I got room for that. <laughs> it's pretty sad when I got to figure it out that way. I'm down to doctor or two peppers a day. Have been having to drink a lot of water. Oh, oh, that's the way I live my life. You know, for every two liters of Dr Pepper, I got to drink four liters of water, right? So. 
That's the way I run it. Plus, I also drink another liter of milk on there. It's not that I'm not hydrated in life. I'm really hydrated. Trust me, I'm worse than my wife on a road trip. <laughs> uh, 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 two and a half hours. All right, where are we going? We're going to pull over here. I need to have a piss in the smoke. <laughs> Yeah, my wife bitches at me for, you know, having a smoke, but it's like, well, no, the smoke is just secondary because I had to pee first. <laughs> but since we're stopped, and it's going to be at least another two and a half hours before we get to our location, then uh, I'm going to have a smoke. All right, let's go bounce over to the... Uh... Okay, here's a question for you guys. Using a controller, I can do this. I can just cycle through all my different vehicles. Can you guys do that too? On the on the keyboard? Because I've never found the button. I've not found a button that says I can do that. Whoa. It's like Hydroneer just you're the ones who's getting hydrated, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can go through with tab button? Cool. Alright, let's see. Here we are. Up by the home. I'm going to take it. It's this big bad boy right here. Let's find out. Nope, tab brings you into this menu. All good, all good. Run. Twenty-two nine. For how much? Hundred and sixty. Twenty-two k. Let me just do a little bit of the um, micro mathings. So it's 137 bucks per tree. Let's see what we got over here. 52 trees for. This is gonna make more sense. 64, 35 divided by 52. Yeah, 123 dollars per tree. So that's not bad. Do, 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 do. Tools, yeah. What? Okay. This one's 71 trees for how much? Uh, why do I keep hitting start? Come on, G. 73.50. Yeah, 141. So, believe it or not, we got actually some pretty good deals here. Let's see. Where is the nearest ramp? <laughs> well, crap, that's the house. Uh huh. Heat's been 95 to 105. I think that's about right where I'm at right now. Too damn hot anyway. Yeah, that is the nearest. So I guess I'm going to have to just drop them down here. Because if I go anywhere near my mill, it just instant stutter festival. Uh, wonder how much is here. Take a quick look. Eh, 180 meters, I can run it. Man, that's just too hot. That's too hot. This ginger would turn into a puddle. An absolute puddle. Sixty-one trees for how much? 
Eleven six. Ouch. That's not good. No, it's not good at all. Oh. We'll leave that one to its own devices, and we'll go after the big one. And we'll go after these these three here. This place is going to become barren real fast, and that should give us. Yeah. By the time we get all this processed up, folks, these three lands, plus I sell all the pallets and everything, we should just have enough to be able to pay off the uncle without having to go uh, full on mushroom hunting and, you know, microfinancing everything. So, all right, we're going to do it. We buy that one. He's going to buy this one. Keep hitting start to buy, I don't know why. What game was I playing that I gotta press start to buy on? Alright, so... Last one, right across from the Home Depots. Yeah, that's too hot. You got your sweet tea going on, Deuce? You're gonna need to drink a lot of that, man. A lot of that. You gotta stay hydrated. You know what? I wonder how much money we got left over after all that. What, 10 grand? Almost tempted. Yeah. Map, please. Map, please. Map, please. Thank you. I almost want to buy these right along here and just have that whole section too. Just so it's straight shot. Just stunk, stunk, stunk. But, eh, we'll save that for another episode. I guess we got enough done here for now that I'm happy. So that way when I come back with you guys in two days, I will at least try to have one or two of these things cleared out, clear cut. That's what I'll do. Oh, okay, see, I live in the in the uh, prairie provinces, so I, I'm used to a dry heat. I go out to the coastline or anything like that in that humid heat, just like... It just zaps all the energy from you. It makes your clothes turn into sticky paper. Just, ugh. I don't have to tell you guys all about that. I don't have to remind you of the hell you're living through right now, right? But, yeah, great, G. Thanks for reminding me. Just, just rub it in a little more. Richard says, uh, have a graphic bug. I found the log sorter missing a middle wood in the log process building and inversion in the building opposite the log store wall. Um, yeah, we're on version 0.45 now, uh, yeah, um, I don't, I'm not even caught up with the bugs that are going on right now, Richard. Uh, for any bugs or anything else, as always, make sure you have your game completely updated to the newest version, and, um, if you're still having any types of issues like that, please feel free to, uh, follow the link down in my description below for the Toplets Discord. They do have a bug hunting section in there. Feel free to put your bugs in and uh, it'll get uh, sent off to the right people. <laughs> it's like liquid air. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Angela. I'm sorry. Uh, that's no good because when you're trying to enjoy a good barbecue, I mean, you just can't drink enough beer to get that stick off the clothes. <laughs> And the beer just, you know, it doesn't matter how much ice you put in the cooler, the beer just doesn't seem to get cold enough. You know, when you, all you have to do is just have a shower when you take the, the bottle of beer out of the cooler of all the ice and you hold it above you and the humidity is so bad that the bottle just condensates and just showers on you. Uh, that's too hot. Way too hot. Yeah, um, yeah, sorry Richard, I actually haven't, uh, due to, say the last, let's call it 11 days. Um, my life has been completely turned, flipped upside down, ripped around, like worse than the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song, you know what I mean? Um, so my family life, basically, my wife has an agricultural trade show, it's their major show of the year, she's involved with it. The, basically, eight days before it was supposed to open the gates to let everybody in to see things, the government said, nope, sorry, we've deemed that this is going to be too large of a venue for the group gathering, we don't feel that you know enough um, areas available for safety social distancing we got to shut you down so everything that my wife has been working her ass off for for over a year was going out the window within eight days so 
with one week, seven days, so overnight, you know, her, her I, and, and her company all got together, and we figured out how to turn it into a digital trade show. So that's what we did. I made 14 different videos uh, uh, for her company. I think I did 10. I did four for a tech company, or well, tech's company. Uh, two of them were really cool. Uh, there was two that really I was just taking some older info and updating the the closed captioning things for them. It wasn't much. Um, but yeah, for my wife's company, it was like full on. The only thing I didn't do was the cinematography. They did that out in the field um, with a different company and that company was firing me uh, all the footage off as soon as that they would have it. So it was pretty busy and real busy. But yeah, definitely, if you want your bugs seen or noticed, yes, the publishers are reading them. They are sending them off to the developers to get them to work on them. But yeah, definitely, if you find anything, yeah, got to post it. What happens if we didn't know about it? Um, yeah, it's like the same thing. Like, uh, for me, knowing that, you know, if the dryer's bugging out a little bit, just save and reload. It's fine. For somebody who's not, you know, experienced in the realms of bugs and betas and and such you probably wouldn't know that so oh I tell you it's been a good day today I hope you guys are having a great day uh, I know I want to get some carrots put in my garden I want to get some uh, romaine lettuce I want to get some uh, I'll probably put in uh, uh, oh, it's not buttercup not butternut what the hell butter something butter bowl or something weird hmm. butter crisp that's it. <laughs> Want to get some butter crisp lettuce in there? I might put in some spinach, but I'm getting kind of old. Bending over and putting in a spinach seed every one inch, even in this little garden, is a pain in the ass. But apparently, I cannot get a good grommel um, one row cedar to save my life in Canada. They're like, no, nope, sorry, that's out of Poland. You can't have it. Like, okay, well, what about Hungary? I can order it out of Hungary. Oh, no, it's out of Hungary. You can't have it. Mm. Come on, I want something that works. I don't want this crap that's out there. I mean, it's either that or I go out and get, like, a Jang 5 row seeder. I mean, yeah, it would work great for my ca my carrot spinach. But what, I don't want that many rows of beets and turnips. If you can sell the 90... It's 9,999, Richard. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, the the most that you, sorry, uh, your inventory is capped out at nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So, and you get three hundred twenty apples in four to six weeks. That'd still be a lot of t skipping time. Uh, your tomatoes, bell peppers, and oh, they're grown like weeds. I wished my. Uh, my climate does not like tomatoes, and it does not like peppers. We have a very short, short spring. I mean, we're talking three weeks of spring before we start going into the start of a summer weather pattern. And at the start of it, it just slowly just gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter until we get um, three weeks of almost 40 degrees Celsius weather. So plants don't like that. They don't like that. They like to have a little bit longer of a you know starting time to get out of their germination factor into their uh, small growth before they get hit with a lot of heat and plants here just don't do very well unless you can get them into a greenhouse early 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 in two more cycles you'll have the 9999 so yeah like I was saying then so you take your 9999 that's on you your person in your own personal inventory of the character take them drop them off over in the pantry and in the pantry you can store those 9999 while you go collect more um, until we get some chests in game, that's the only way that I can think of that you can um, store it. Um, then once we get chests, you can now start storing more. So, but yeah, definitely, 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 don't uh, don't uh, overdo yourself with um, with mushrooms because you will lose them. So say you got. You know, 9,997 and there's four mushrooms, or say 15 mushrooms, well, you're only going to, you'll lose 11 of the mushrooms if you try to collect them all. They just go poof into the ether. They don't exist. 
Uh, digging potatoes when the husband gets off work tonight. Uh, first bucket is ready. Second still needs more time. Yeah, we got our very first set of taters. Actually, I got them drying right now. Let me go grab one, sir. Our first set of taters. So, uh, I leave the big ones for my folks because they can't stand dealing with, with these uh, the the baby potatoes. Nope. But uh, I love baby potatoes. I love uh, just cutting these up in half, throwing a pile of margarine, wrapping them up in aluminum foil, throw them on the barbecue for. Eh, 20 25 minutes. That's it. Then, after they've been on there for about 20 25 minutes, I then take some ranch dressing and some onion, really, really fine diced onion, and open it all up. Mix all that in, and then cook it for about another 10, 15, just depending on how big of the chunks of the taters are. And, oh, so good. You serve that with some just freshly steamed carrots. It's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Wow, 6.48. In-game already. I don't think I've ever gone through that gate that fast before in my life. <laughs> we'll take it. <clears throat> well, guys, I cannot wait um, to get the new microphone. It's going to be fantastic. I'm actually hoping, I'm hoping that I will have uh, enough coin left over that I'll be able to pick up a... Uh, uh, a kid's electric scooter uh, it's called a razor board or something like that uh, for my son for his birthday and I'm hoping to get uh, yeah, just a cheaper style one for me for now um, yeah, if it works out really well then maybe I'll go get a bit better one but for now I just need something that can travel the one mile and back again so I need something that can travel eh, probably let's say 10 mile range in order to uh, make sure I can get there and back twice a day Baby Reds chunked in or chunked in the casserole dish with sliced peppers, onions, butter, and garlic sauce. Oven fry until te uh, until ten. I do the same thing, except for uh, instead of using the sliced peppers, I have a mm, uh, seasoning mix called uh, roasted peppers and garlic, and it is just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of uh, dried peppers. So I'll put that on, and uh, it it does the same thing. It's just a uh, I'm a little lazy when it comes to slicing up my peppers. My peppers are, are usually safe for uh, salads, stuffed peppers, um, uh, burritos. Uh, trying to think what else we use stuffed peppers for. We don't get them uh, very often here, and they're pretty expensive, so. But yeah, oh, nothing better than a fresh bell pepper from the garden picked not even three hours before you're eating it in a, in a stuffed pepper form like oh my god so god mmm meatloaf mmm I wanted to do meatloaf this weekend but wifey said no she didn't want all the fat like alright <laughs> so we end up having sausages go figure <laughs> but uh now here's something for you. How do you guys like your sausages? Uh, do you guys like them uh, butterfly? Do you like them barbecued? Do you like them pan fried? Do you like them cooked so that all the grease is out of them? Do you like them so that when you bite into them, they're, they're still like wet and soft, moist or whatever you want to call it? Uh, me, personally, pri uh, I, I prefer dry sausage. I like a sausage that has been thrown on the barbecue or grill and poked thousands of times throughout its cooking process so all that grease is out but not cooked at such a high temperature that, that a new gargoyle face I see? 
Recklaw, thank you very much for the follow. Or the subscription. Subscription? Yeah, YouTube subs. <laughs> Went back to my Twitch days. Hey, thanks for the follow. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're here in stream, say hi. If you're not and you're just uh, kicking about watching my other videos, cool. Nice to have you on board. That should now bring me up to the magic number of 1130, I believe. You guys are awesome. 130 subs in the last two months alone. I've never had such amazing growth. You guys are awesome. All of you, big, big pats on the back. You guys are doing awesome. Thank you very much for sharing. Word of mouth is amazing. Brots on the grill causing splits. Going to have the, gotta have the juices. Ah, you, you like the juicy sausage, do you? Bone says, slightly crisp on the outside, warm and juicy on the inside. I slow cook them at first and then a high heat for the crisp. See, that's the way I do it too. So when I first start off, I take a, uh, a corn on the cob, poker stickers. Can't remember what they're called at the moment. I know there's a proper name for them. Um, but I'll take those and then just when I first start cooking them, I'll poke a thousand holes into it so it lets out, I'd say at least 80% of the fat as it's heating. And then it's just a low and slow. Last three minutes, you turn the barbecue up on high, throw them onto the grill, and you get your singe marks put into them, and then you serve them up. So they're they're dry of the grease, but they're not dry of the meaty juices. Does that make sense? You know, like my wife and I just don't like the fact that you know, most sausages are 85% fat. But we don't want the fat yes it's great to have fat as a flavor but not as the main dish in your sausage so that's why we do it that way now when I was a kid my parents the only way that they would ever have sausages was to throw them into the uh, cast iron frying pan with a tin of tomatoes uh, put it on medium and come back in an hour that was how I grew up having sausages so when my wife asked me to cook them this way, when we were young, young, young kids, and she's like, well, could you try doing them this way? This is the way my family always ate them. I'm like, yeah, okay, I can try that. Like, oh, this is good. This is way better than my freaking dad makes. Like, bleh, boiled meat, ugh. But yeah, so that's what I'm all about. I'm like having that, I want all the excess grease out, but I want just enough to be flavor enhancing. Well, how much wood have I got left in here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. But I think with those three fields there, guys, I got enough work to keep me super busy for a while. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have all the fields. I know I won't have all the fields done. Uh, I don't know if I'll have one complete field done in the time it takes for two days just because of how much little time I have in life. Especially over the next two days here, I'm supposed to be taking care of that garden, getting it all finished up. Um, yeah, uh, for the Patreons and that, guys, yes, another video is coming. I have the first part of me doing up the garden already released with the trommel. I have a part one of the second part already recorded from when I was doing the prepping of the garden, you know, putting in the rototilling, the soil amendments and stuff like that, um, but nothing for the seeding. So I want to do, for when I do my second planting here, carrots and that, I want to add that seeding into it to get you guys that second video. So please bear with me. I have not forgotten about you guys. I feel so bad. You guys are doing Patreon, handing out the love, and uh, I mean, I can't even get my visual art thingies to work up on the screen anymore. Um, here, let me check. Yeah, caveman's not working now. I don't know what happened to my stream deck. The other day, the Windows update hit, and it decided that some things are going to work, and 90% of other things aren't. So, I don't know what's going on with it. And, let's see. I want to see how much we had left here. Well, we got 53. Tell you what, we'll go drop this one off, and then one more before we call it an end of stream. Um, I think I'm going to go uh, see what my brother is up to this afternoon. I haven't hung out with him in probably about three weeks, so I was just thinking I might need to go hang out with him, see how he's doing. 
and uh, yeah he should be home here in about half an hour exactly bone every time windows does something it has you or every time windows updates you have to do something with your stream to get it back up and running this just happens to be the very first time since i got the stream deck in february because i got it for christmas and uh, it was broken so by the time we did the exchange when i got it working in february this is the first time i've ever had any issues with it other than it's slow as hell in switching between uh, different files But yeah, right now I don't know why my visual effects doesn't turn on or off or anything. I could probably do it through actual OBS studios themselves. Probably get them to trigger there, but I just can't get them to trigger with the stream deck. Which sucks because people like Tater who come in here and Chavez, you know, and Venix, you know. My my monthly Patreon, amazing, amazing folks. Um, just aren't getting the recognition they deserve and it's driving me crazy uh, I still haven't been able to figure out w what's going on with my Adobe Premiere for my credit screen I'm trying to take my offline screen there folks and I'd like to put um, you know thank you special thanks to all my credits or to all my patrons in the credit scene but uh, for some reason I can't seem to get Adobe Premiere to want to use its function like there's an actual role credit feature in Adobe Premiere but it ain't working for me so I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to do it manually and then program it all in there which kind of bites because I can't just add a name or remove a name to it easily which as you can with the feature so I don't know what's going on there but I'm trying to get that done for you patreons it just seems that anytime that anybody wants to do anything like that for me life seems to come back and kick me in the nuts Ah, yeah, speaking of things that I need to get done, Bone, is your uh, your young son, has he returned from his, uh, his vacation time? I need to get some of that stuff started upon. But, once again, though, I mean, if he just came home this weekend, yeah, you know, I'll give him another week to you know, get settled back in. But yeah, got some work for him. And I got money, so hey, I can even pay him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I tell you. Oh, I love this game, but at the same time, it just feels like we just did the same thing over and over and over and over and over for $300,000. Oh, wait, we've only done it for $200,000 so far. That's right. That's right. We still have another 150000 to go. Angela says, you're ahead of me. I'm still trying to figure out Google Photos. Oh, I see. You like okay, so your bratwursts. You like having a lot of juicy, but when it comes to like things like your your garlic sausage or your hot Italian sausage or anything like that, you you don't mind having them a little bit uh, butterflied and cooked. Cool. We'll do, my man. We'll do. Yeah, I don't want to. You know, don't want to cramp his style. It's a good year for the boy. So, you know, if he's got things going on, I'm not going to bug him. But at the same time, you know, if he needs a little bit of spending cash in that too, I don't mind helping the man out. You know what I mean? Yep. So that means then what I can easily do then is I will, uh, you know, next week I'll just, um, I'll send him the, the pictures of what I was looking for type thing. He has no style. He's 18. Now he's got to learn his style. He's got to go. He's got to go through 15, 16 different stops. Oh Jesus! Oh, sorry guys. I ate a ton of nachos and cheese in the last couple of days, so I have got the worst GERD right now. Taco seasoning burps. Whoo! Just hit me every time. But yeah, no, definitely I will uh, see what uh, what his thoughts are on about some of the work that I'm looking for. Are we doing for cash? Oh, not at all. Okay. So yeah, with these uh, three new fields that we just picked up here, I'm hoping that we should have just enough to pay off the uncle, go through whatever missions it is we need to do in order to pick up the planter and the stump grinder. I'm guessing 
Um, well, I was told that basically, you know, as long as you got 25 grand after you've done the uh, purchasing of the uncle, you're fine for buying more land and uh, getting the equipment. So cause apparently reward's pretty decent from one of them. Do it quick because college starts soon. Yeah, no, we'll do. No, that's what I mean. I'll, I'll hit him up after the weekend. Let him get through his his graduation fun and everything else, and you know, have himself a real good time this week. And then I'll hit him up for some work next week. So then that way he's uh, you know, eager beaver to do it. I don't uh, don't want him thinking that you know he's got you know responsibility when uh, right now his responsibility is to have some fun. You only graduate once in life, and right now. You know, he gets to be the pioneer of how to have a graduation when the world is in, you know, chaos. All right, so there we go. Like I said, last, last pallet or uh, load that we'll sell off, guys. I'm probably going to head it here so I can go uh, hang out with my brother in about oh, 20 or so minutes when he gets home. Then uh, after that, uh, you know, if, if wifey's not going to be home until you know really late, like our bedtime late, like nine, ten o'clock, I might come back on if I can get some more stuff done. But uh, if me and the brother are hanging out for a while, he said he wanted to show me the uh, that ghost of uh, sashimi, sushimi. Oh crap! It wasn't that was some ghost samurai game thing, anyway. He told me that uh, I'd probably be really interested in that, and that uh, he wants to show it to me. So whenever I get a minute, you know, come hang out with him. So I think I'll probably do that tonight. Maybe we'll get some Carl Burgers Juniors or some Carl's Junior Burgers or something. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, doggy. What's that all about? Oh, okay. Well, just. Like three minutes, pup, okay? Three minutes, puppy? Alright. Dog scratching at the door. She's old, so you just you have no idea how long she's really got. Is this an immediate thing, or is this like, no, I'm just gonna sit in the sun for ten minutes, and then I'm gonna pee. You know, is this DEFCON 1, or is this, you know, eh, no real emergency. Yeah, no doubt, Zona. It takes a long time to do that stuff, man. Just think. One video, all my chests, even though I know exactly where every single chest location is in Farmer's Dynasty, it still took me, well, if you do recording time, you add that into uh, editing time, I'm pretty sure I had over five hours. But that's where we're going to end today's episode, folks. Let's get our ending music. Uh huh. Okay, where's my ender? Two albums. No. What the heck? Yeah, Stream Deck. Okay, I gotta do this manually. There it is. Jeez. Some days. One of these nights. One of these years. I will figure out how to end the live stream. I promise you that. It'll. It's like winning the lottery. It's got to happen. It's got to happen one day, right? It has to. <laughs> oh, but guys, thank you so much for being here. As always, don't forget to check out the recommended rascals over on my youtube homepage. there you'll find yourself the deuce ms we all know the king of the throne of the outhouse mr mississippi himself then we'll find uh, our, our favorite comedian our comic-con man himself bone 13 ao mike who's carrying the exclusive uh, multiplayer with him and i on much uh, much uh, snow runners on his channel <laughs> and of course you'll find our friends peanut and Seared Sheep there as well. If you're interested in PS4 gameplay, go check out Seared Sheep. And if you'd like to have just a cool, relaxing time and realize I just lost 40 minutes of my life watching somebody play a video game, go visit Peanut. But you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you guys do have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, 
I wish you and your family the best evening. I hope you guys had some time to kick back, relax, unwind, enjoy. I'll see you in the next episode. Later!